Hey guys, this is Lewis from LMB Productions. Today I want to go over how to install the salient theme, some best practices to do at the very beginning. I'm going to show you how to set up your home directory page and your blog page. So you, uh, you'll need that to get started and start working on salient as soon as possible. Uh, I'll also show you how to install it along with um, working on the header uh, for salient, you know, um, some tips on the header, some tips are on the footer, and how to install these social media icons on the footer. Okay, so we're going to go through all that uh, pretty quick here. I just want to give you a couple of tips just to make things easier so that you can get started working on Salient right out the gate quicker. The first thing to do, obviously, is to download your Salient after you purchase it. Download all files and documentation. I like to do that. Uh, just an old habit, but you never know when you may see something new that you'll need to use. Okay, so after you uh, download the zip file, unpack it, obviously. Uh, should look something like this afterwards. Then you just double click and it becomes a folder. Then go to your, in your WordPress panel, go to your themes option. Then I want you to choose file. Mine's already on Theme Force, but you would go to your downloads if you have a Mac or even PC. Um, downloads, upload this file, salient.zip. Install now. Okay, and then you click activate. Awesome. Okay, so this is a new thing with Salient, and this is a new thing with Envato. Um, Basically, it's not a big deal. Um, it's just they're they just they're just making every everybody just separate all the different elements of what they offer. Um, and being the amazing author that Theme Nectar is, he's actually made it better overall. I mean, um, it's he's made it as easy as possible for you. So uh, basically, all you do is just begin installing plugins. And you'll really want all of these, but Invato just is like, just give them the option not to. That's why he separated all these out. But you really want all of them, most of the time. I mean, like 99% of the time. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to do the demo importer. You don't have to do any of that. But I use a home slider. I use a nectar slider. I use a demo importer. I use short codes. I use uh, social, the widgets. So I, I would. You don't have to, but I'm just saying. Then you click my bad you click install okay and then you've seen that they've all installed successfully then you go to plugins installed plugins begin activating so sorry you click that again and see he's done it done that for you which is badass you click all apply and they are successfully activated okay so now you should have the full power of salient at your hands like Thanos right okay bad joke so uh, okay let's go to salient let's import the demo con content okay so then afterwards after it's done installing go to the salient tab and you should see demo importer if you don't see it then just go to your home page to refresh and then it should be there afterwards right so uh, you go to salient go to demo importer and then choose your demo basically um, I'm gonna go with one that I've never done before because it sounds good um, which one have I not done before? Okay, I've never done the blog magazine, so I'm just going to give it a shot. And the demo content import, I would click all. Um, that way you have the full power of the demo. Okay, awesome. So it is at imported um, after it's done. Then what you want to do, okay, so the first thing that you want to do, because if you go to visit site
you'll see it's like what is this it's the demo is important you kind of see some of the stuff it's cool but it's like wait hold on a second you know we should I should see the demo page right okay so the reason for that is that you need to set you have to configure the home page and configure the post page so it'll make sense in just a second so you go to settings reading and then so so that's what see that's why your home page displays your late your latest post so that's why you're seeing that you're seeing the kind of like the uh, a blog feed what you want to do is you want to go to uh, click a static page then you then I would click the the magazine blog landing page but if it was a larger demo or more there would be more options but you would look for the home page or it should say landing page right so I'm just gonna click the about for now but later on you would just make a menu item in the menus and you would add blog to the menu uh, to the top navigation and then you would put put that in there and then you would save and that, that that way it whenever it clicks blog or you click over to the blog it goes to the right page and you can utilize the blog functions but now let's go to the header because now when we click into this we should see the the landing page of what we saw in the pre in the uh, preview of the demo which we do looks cool looks cool I dig it I dig it very nice um, but say we okay so no now you want to take salient out of the header right because it's you want you want to use your own um, so let's go to dashboard then go to salient then go to header navigation this is where things can get a little tricky for some people and I, I completely understand why because sometimes when you remove this remove this right and then you upload and you're like okay you, you so say you you remove that then you upload your own and then you go back and then you're like so we'll go to the home page and you remove it and it's still like either not there or it's just not showing up in the right place so the reason for that is the transparency header effect okay because sometimes if it's up high like this right because this is transparent so it, this may be one of the ones that would do that um, you have to remove all of these see you have to remove all these and then you have to upload the uh, you you have to upload the normal version and a darker version of that so that whenever it goes like uh, it uses a opacity it doesn't have like a so say say your logo is white and then it's a default white but if it uses a, a, a the opacity then that means that they then that this needs to be black so that if it's over an opaque background it will show up so that's why salient makes you do both so you want to do the dark version and then you want to do like the lighter version here um, and that's what, what you would upload so you need to upload all a light version and a dark version and then you also need to upload a logo here so I'm gonna do that real quick with just our logo LMB Productions logo okay so we found our logo I'm gonna use a different one because I think it would be cool than we usually do. Or I like that one; that's pretty dope. But no, let's do this one. Okay. And the other big thing is use a PNG. Do not use a JPEG. I repeat, use a PNG, please. The reason is is that um, it's you. Well, if you're gonna if you want that cool transparency header effect, you have to use a PNG. You can't use a, P, a JPEG. Um, the reason is is that the PNG has transparency, JPEG does not. Okay. Um, let me know in the comments below if anybody has trouble with that concept or, or needs help with that specifically. I can show you how to do that as well as um, where you can do that uh, for your logo. Da -da -da. Anyways, just use a PNG if you don't already know. I'm assuming most of you will, but I just wanted to explain it. And the Retina logo is um, 
you know you also want to upload a much higher resolution obviously two times the size of your standard logo so that it keeps it super crisp on larger screens so let's go ahead and do that or right, let's refresh see what that does okay yep that's that's it now if it we can obviously once we upload the light or dark version it would go from light to, to dark uh, using the transparency so what so if this happens and it's like too freaking small then you want to increase the height and it's important to keep the padding in mind as well this may be too big damn that was pretty close okay And then, so if if I if I make it larger, then obviously I want the padding to be a bit smaller, because the padding will 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 space things out. It, it will make things. Well, it'll put padding all, all, everywhere. And I think that looks pretty good right there. That looks awesome. Okay. So hopefully that answered your question um, about the headers. So let's move over on the footer. The footer, I've already done a more in-depth video on it, on exactly how to do it, um, which I'll link in the description below. But I would recommend either, either uh, three columns or four columns. Um, and, then, and then this is where you would, this is where you would actually put the social media icons. Um, of where you want them so it's a little confusing because this is it's not in social media like so for them to appear in on your footer the social media icons these things or there we go right uh, you need them uh, you need to uh, check them here so Facebook Twitter Google the where social what social media does what this page is is basically linking them so you would put the links in 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 this place and then that's where it, and then and then salient and salient feeds that link to where these are where they show wherever they show so that's how you do social media icons um so ho hopefully that makes sense. Um, I also like to do a footer reveal effect. I think it looks really badass. Um, I personally like to do a small drop shadow. Um, and this is good to disable the automatic copyright because that, that can be really annoying. And then you kind of create your own where it's all rights reserved, copyright protected, 2019, something like that. You know. Um, save changes. If you don't want to deal with it at all, you can disable it. But I, I would, I like to use it, especially since we're web designers ourselves. Refresh. Okay, all rights reserved, right? Okay, then. If you're a designer, obviously, I would put design by. So, there it is. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, here's the demo content imported uh, I try to show you around as much as possible for the new update because I know that uh, that was probably a little confusing to a lot of people uh, and uh, I'll show you the header footer so hopefully this helps uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any other things that you'd like to see that I, I would love to help with um, please like comment subscribe uh, I'm super excited for this channel and uh, really hope you guys uh, will give me some feedback so I can learn how to help you more. So uh, until next time, see you soon.